Welcome, Inspector General. Welcome, dear guests. I'm very glad to see you. Uh, I'm very grateful for your visit. Uh, I'm very grateful that you found time to visit the liberated territories. I was informed that yesterday you visited the cities which Azerbaijan liberated during the war, and uh, you yourself witnessed the situation, its total destruction. Uh, we knew about that because we had some video uh, about uh, situation of the occupied territories, but we, frankly speaking, could not even imagine that the destruction are so uh, wide. And uh, it demonstrates that the country which kept this land under occupation wanted to destroy the traces of Azerbaijani culture, destroy the heritage of Azerbaijani people. And uh, actually, uh, we now clearly understand that these destructions were made after the uh, First Karabakh War. It was not during the war, because during the war these kind of destructions are not possible. It was after occupation, in order to destroy everything which belonged to the people of Azerbaijan, and not to allow any time in the future uh, Azerbaijanis to, to go back. That once again demonstrates that during all these almost 30 years of uh, negotiations, Armenia had only one objective, to make these negotiations endless and useless. And it happened. Because during these almost 30 years of negotiation process, there was no result. Only talks, only visits, only statements, but no results. And that gave the aggressor opportunity to try to change the historical, cultural, and religious origin of the uh, occupied territories. The uh, policy of illegal settlement is a war crime, and they did not even hide uh, this policy in the last period of occupation. They were bringing uh, people of Armenian origin from different parts of the world, settling them in the historical Azerbaijani territories, including historical city of Shusha, changing the names of our cities and villages, uh, changing even the origin of uh, Christian religious monuments. They were uh, changing the uh, origin of ancient Christian uh, nation of uh, Udin's uh, religious heritage. They were converting uh, ancient Caucasian Albanian uh, churches into Armenian churches. So we did a lot of uh, things which are subject to criminal investigation. And uh, as you probably heard, Azerbaijan already started the process of evaluation of the damage, uh, material and cultural, and moral, ecological, uh, comprehensive damage will be evaluated with the assistance of uh, well-known international companies. So that will allow us to sue the aggressive state Armenia in international courts. Um, 44 days of war changed the situation in the region. As I said, the war is over. We need to turn the page. We will never forget pain, we will never forget the wounds, the wounds will uh, never be healed, we will never forget our heroes, but uh, at the same time we need to look to the future and to uh, rebuild the territories, rebuild the area of total devastation, and we will do it, it's already started. Infrastructure projects, uh, city planning, and many other important uh, elements of reconstruction are already in the process of implementation. And this year, uh, we've allocated the substantial funds for that. So we did by force what the uh, international community could not or did not want to do uh, by peaceful means. 
and the liberation of historical lands of Azerbaijan is not only a historical event in our history, but also uh, a remarkable event in the history of wars, because uh, we did almost what seemed to be impossible. By the courage and bravery of our soldiers and officers and by proper planning and uh, commitment and unity of all the people. I'd like to express gratitude to you, Mr. Secretary General, personally, and to ISESCO for continued support to Azerbaijan during all the years of our close cooperation. Especially, I'd like to express gratitude for uh, decisions made during the war, when in the beginning of October, just several days after the war started, uh, ISESCO issued a very supportive uh, statement and decisions to support Azerbaijan's uh, just cause. I also like to express gratitude for your letter of congratulations with respect to the victory which you kindly sent me after our glorious victory. All this demonstrates uh, you know, our unity, demonstrates uh, the unity of our people, and as you know, Azerbaijan always was a strong advocate for uh, issues related to Islamic solidarity and there were numerous events of ISESCO in Azerbaijan. I hope this will continue. And uh, always we called for unity among uh, Muslim countries. And what you've seen in Agdam and in other parts also shows how Armenian leadership treated the religious feelings and uh, history of Muslims. They destroyed all our mosques except one. The one in Agdam they did not completely destroy only because they needed to have some, uh, some landmark to plan their artillery attacks if or when the Azerbaijani army was forward. They needed to measure the distance. That was the reason. But there have been numerous uh, pictures and videos how they keep pigs and cows in our mosque. And this is insult not only to Azerbaijanis, but to all the Muslims. During my visit to the liberated territories in Zangilan, I, I, I went to a destroyed, completely destroyed mosque in, in Zangilan. In uh, Shusha, they destroyed uh, all the mosques completely, except one, which was also half destroyed, but then in order to demonstrate that they protect Islamic uh, cultural and religious sites, they tried to make some repair works. Unfortunately, one foreign company joined this provocative initiative and without our permission came to Shusha, violating our legislation, violating our borders, without permission of the Azerbaijani government. That foreign company, uh, under the patronage of uh, illegal regime which existed in Nagorno-Karabakh at that time, made some repairments. And thus they became the, the partner to criminals because uh, Armenians destroyed almost 70 mosques on the occupied territory. And trying to uh, make repairments in one of them was just an attempt to demonstrate that they're tolerant, that they respect Muslim culture, the feelings of the Muslims. If they did so, why did they destroy the others? And why they did not repair the others? And that foreign company which came to Shusha, did they see that other mosques are destroyed? all the religious and cultural heritage get destroyed. They behaved even worse than separatists who destroyed it. But uh, we will restore everything. We will bring everything to its initial origin and rebuild the territories. And I, I'm sure that next time you visit us, you'll have also opportunity to visit Shusha, which was announced by me as the capital of Azerbaijani culture. And uh, also one of the issues I wanted to discuss with you is the issue related to the regional center of ISESCO in Azerbaijan. 
Uh, you know that this issue was in discussion during the last three, four years, uh, and we want to revive the discussions. And if uh, there will be positive movement, I think we can do it very soon. And that will be very important for us and for uh, all the you know, people who contribute to strengthening of Islamic solidarity and protection of Islamic cultural heritage. So once again, Inspector General, I welcome you. I pay special importance to your visit now, uh, after war is over, as a sign of uh, friendship and brotherhood. So welcome. Thank you very much, Excellency. It is a great honor for me to meet with you and my team. Um, I've always seen you as one of the visionary leaders who has passion, who really fight for his uh, country and uh, pave the way for others. You're the chairman of the Men of Mind uh, organization. And I went through your speech at the latest uh, General, uh, United uh, General Assembly Council, seeing that other Bijan over the past 30 years have helped more than 30, uh, 120 countries and have organized many international forums. That is of a great help to the world. I think this is by itself put other Bijan as among the top countries worldwide. Your Excellency, rest assured that Azerbaijan is a priority for us and has always been and will continue to be. We celebrated the victory because it is part of us. Your victory is part of its victory. Our member states are very important and regardless of who they are, we will support them by all means. With me, I brought the most important people in one, I want them to witness and see what has happened to uh, and celebrate also the victory. Professor Rahil Amar, he is the head sector of science and innovation, and he was the president of Comstat University in Istanbul. Uh, Professor Mohammed Zian Abdin, he is the head sector of culture, and he was six months ago he was the president and uh, he was the minister of culture in Tunisia. Ambassador Khaled who is the head of partnership and also we're building a new civilization dialogue center. And he was an ambassador of Sudan in the uh, Kingdom of Morocco and a special advisor to the uh, former president of uh, Sudan. And also uh, Mr. Sami, he was uh, editor of the one of the most important famous newspaper in uh, Egypt, Al Ahram, very widely known. So you see that we are here to one congratulate you and appreciate uh, your invitation to come uh, meet with you and uh, also participate in this important victory. We visited the uh, liberated area and we've seen the tragedy and we've seen something that we've never seen before. A city that has been totally destroyed put almost to the ground that is totally inhumane and cannot be accepted by any measures. It's a crime for humanity. And, and what we know and we are sure, what we saw yesterday from the mayors, from the people, the passion and the willingness to rebuild. And I was talking to His Excellency, uh, the minister, and he said, even if the government just support them, it is those people who will build the, the, the uh, Karabakh. And that is something that we felt it by everyone that we met yesterday. And we are very proud to see that kind of willingness. Represent the victory. This says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna fatahna laka fatahna mubina. يغفر الله لك ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك الصراط المستقيم. It says we celebrate the victory and this is just and the word is from Allah to our Prophet Muhammad Almighty that 
this clear consequent and the victory that you have seen. So this is uh, just simple. Yeah. Thank and you very much. This is, it says here to His Excellency yeah. Alham Aliyat, President of Azerbaijan, celebrating victory over the Nagorno Karabakh. And this is our logo, and this is ISIS. This sword, Your Excellency, is almost like more than 100 years. Right? And it is uh, the insert of our country. <laughs> Thank you very much. The, Just the symbol of our victory was an iron fist. <laughs> so now we have a sword. <laughs> so, thank you very Thank much. you. Thank you.